Hey guys, and welcome back on my channel. Um, I'm outside here in the forest and I have no plan what I photograph today. But um, it's a bit foggy today and maybe I can make some pictures of the um, forest in the fog. But I'm looking for some wildlife, but here's nothing, no bird, no deer, no fox. No animal, here's really nothing and yes, I was walking um, around here in the forest and look for some nice motifs to to photograph and maybe I can take some macro photos today, but let's see. Okay guys, um, I walked around a while now and I found this, this lake here, look at this, this little lake here in the forest and it's really amazing and yes, maybe I can make some, some nice pictures and I hear birds, oh no, they flew away, but there were birds and that's great. Okay guys, I'm now here on a little lake in the forest and there's a bird and the bird is drinking in the lake. Look at this. Look at this little bird. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. eating or drinking I don't know but I think he eats there it's really nice Guys, it's so hard to photograph in the forest because it's so dark but it's also really nice and here are a lot of things that I can photograph but um, I think the sunset is in um, half an hour and it's so dark that I can't photograph here um, so I go back home and come tomorrow morning again so See you tomorrow. Okay guys, I have to say one thing more for today. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the cam, but it's so foggy today. I'm amazed and I can't see my own... Hey. <laughs> I can't see my own hand before me. And it's incredible, look at this. Look how it looks. Wow. And the autofocus from my camera is also in struggle. So, but now, see you tomorrow. Okay guys, now it's day three and yesterday I didn't um, film anything but before I 
tell you the story, can we talk about how nice this forest here is? Um, the moose on the ground and the big trees and the birds are everywhere here. It's really nice here. It's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite forest in this region where I live. So, but now the story from yesterday. Um, yesterday morning it was really bad weather, and I decided to uh, to edit some photos from two days ago. And in the evening, it it stopped to rain, and I drived to my feeding station with my bike to fill fill it with new bird aid. And I took my camera in my bag because always when I'm there and I have no camera, then there are a lot of birds. So that's always so. And yesterday it was the same. But I had my camera with the tele lens and I could make amazing videos and a uh, few photos but it was really hard to photograph because it was dark in the forest and the ISO was really high. So I... Can you hear this birds? It's amazing. So anyways... um. I could make some good photos and videos and yes, here they are. Oh guys, look at this. There are so many birds today. It's really nice and I have no what my fucking can. Okay, I think today I'm much more lucky with the with the birds because I can hear a lot of birds and yes, here are a lot of tits, but also a woodpecker and yes, I can't see them really good because they're on the top of the tree, but maybe I have some good opportunities to take photos. So I'm rock um further in the forest and let's see maybe I can make some good pictures. Okay guys I'm now on the little lake here and exactly like two days ago but here's nothing and I think it's because here is shadow and it's really cold in the shadow and the birds love it when it's warm so they're on the um, places where is the um, sun and it's difficult to photograph the birds because they are on the top on the trees so really high and there are a lot of fence and yes, it's not so easy, but maybe I'm lucky and some of the birds will come down to the ground. Oh guys, can you hear, hear the birds, I think? These are tits and I don't know what kind of tits. I know it, but not the English name. I think this is... Um, I don't know, maybe tailed it? I'm not sure. But their sound is really nice.
Oh, guys, I gave up. So, not with the photography, with the birds. But it's really hard because they are everywhere and I sometimes I can see them, but they are so high on the trees and you can't photograph them. It's not possible. Um, but now I will use the time and make some macro photography. And yes, look at this. Look what I found. Um, a other little lake. I think it's not a lake. It's smaller than a lake. But it looks like so great. I mean, the um, the moose in the background on the ground, and then this little little lake and the grasses in the lake. Now I. I will check out the forest and the ground and some grasses or flowers and I will take some photos and I will ignore the, the birds because they are everywhere and they are so loud but it's not possible to photograph them. So yes, let's do macro photography. Oh guys, look at this. I think you can't see it really good. Um, but it looks like really great. Here is the mushroom and my camera. And I have this torch. And what I do now is I light this mushroom there up with this torch. And then I take a photo. And this looks really, really great. And so I do this pictures. Okay guys, I go back home now because it um, it's getting dark in a few minutes and I think I could make really really nice um, photos from the mushrooms and from other things and yes, if you liked the video, um, like this video and subscribe my channel. And a nice Christmas and see you next Sunday.